Today I read chapters Genesis 21 and 22. Um, I've read this story many times and it's still pretty crazy. Uh, so, Abraham and Sarah are supposed to have a kid, and Sarah's like, I'm old, how do I have a kid? And she has a kid, and she's like, holy cow, I had a kid! And I'm like, she, she's over 90, I, th I think, something around there. And uh, they name him Isaac, and they're like, alright, we, we had a kid. I'm pretty old, but we'll deal with it, cool, cool. And then, I think Genesis 22 comes along, and Isaac's a little grown up. God's like, kill your kid, Abraham. He's like, what? He's like, kill your kid. He's like, why? He's like, sacrifice to me. So like, you know, come on, give me your sacrifice. He's like, okay, I'll do that. And he tricks his son into coming up to this altar. He's about to stab him. I'm pretty sure God talks to him through angels most of the time, by the way, and then God's like, wait, no, stop. And he's like, what? Why? Why? I'm, I'm going through with it now. I'm, I'm ready. I've got, like, stop. You fear me. You fear me. Now I know it's all okay. It's like, all right, great. So God created a kid just for them to almost kill him. And then he promises Abraham that he'll have many, many descendants. Um, but, uh, I mean, if that really did happen and God really was like, thank you, that's crazy crap. So I thought murder is not okay. I don't understand why he'd want him to murder someone. I know I've heard this before, but it's still a weird story to me. I guess you fear God, you'll do anything for me, but... I don't know. I think Genesis 21 and 22 are pretty strange. Anyways, until next time. I'm Jake. Bye!